Hello everyone, I am Aparna Ji Huli Kantimat of Jain Public School, Rana Bandur. Today I am here to talk about the beauty of space. What is space? Space is the physical universe behind the Earth's atmosphere. Around 547 members have been known to go to space. Then what is universe? Universe includes space and the Earth. The universe is humongous. We don't know the extent of it. So, the observable universe is the universe of which we know of. How do we know the distances between the celestial bodies? We use the SI unit called a light year. A light year is equal, is equal to 6 trillion miles. It is the distance traveled by the light in an year. How did it all start? It, the starting of the universe is explained by a theory called the Big Bang Theory. The universe was in a hot dense state around 13.75 billion years ago. It started expanding leading to the creation of atoms, molecules and to the creation of stars and galaxies as we know of them. A couple of things which we have to know before diving into the beauty of the space is nebula. A nebula is a cloud of glass, gas and dust in outer space visible in the night sky. For example, take the pillars of destruction. Pillars of destruction is the part of a huge nebula called the Karina Nebula. Here clouds of dust are places where the formation of stars takes place. Supernovas. Supernovas are a powerful and luminous stellar explosion. These explosions can be due to the dying of a star or due to collision between celestial bodies. For example, take the Kepler's supernova. How do we observe all of this? How do we observe the beauty of the space? The beauty of the space can be observed using telescopes. There are two types of telescopes, land-based telescopes and space-based telescopes. Land-based telescopes have a disadvantage. They have atmospheric refraction. So all the light from the stars and galaxies is not reachable to us. But space-based observatories have an advantage in this way. An example of a space-based observatory is the Hubble telescope. It was launched in the year 1990. It was named in the honor of the astronomer Edwin Hubble. It has new cutting-edge scientific technology in it for picturing the space. It orbits around 547 kilometers above the Earth and it moves in about 8 kilometers per second. The next picture which you are seeing is the core of this Carina Nebula. It was photographed by a land-based observatory. It spans around 500 light years, light years and is about 7500 light years away from us. Here you can see that different gases are being colored in different ways. Here hydrogen is colored green. Oxygen is colored blue and sulfur is colored red. The next one which you are seeing is called a Pismus 24. What is Pismus 24? It is an open star cluster. Here you can see a nebula in the below and a huge star and a cluster of huge stars above the nebula. These were created in the nebula. The red color of the nebula is due to the formation of stars inside them. The massive stars are some of the biggest stars ever seen in the observable universe. The next picture is actually a zoomed out picture of this Pismus 24 cluster. So it is also called as cat's claw due to its resemblance to a cat's claw. So here you can see some of the brightest stars more clearly. Here you can see some intricate patterns between the clouds of gases. This is formed due to the complex interactions between interstellar winds, radiation pressures, magnetic field and gravity. This NGC 6357 which is also known as, six, as known as Cat's Nebula spans around 400 light years and lies about 8000 light years away from us. The next one looks very familiar to a an insect, right? It is actually called a butterfly nebula. Here the wings, wings are clearly seen and be, due to the stars present inside them. This nebula is a planetary nebula and lies about 4000 light years away from us. The next one is called the Dumbbell Nebula. The Dumbbell Nebula 
is formed due to a ex due to an explosion of a small uh, of a star which is similar to the sun so this nebula looks exactly like like our uh, our our star's nebula when it explodes this lies about 1360 light years away from us the most common picture of jupiter have a red big spot on it why because this spot is actually a storm which has been there for centuries the next image which you see is actually called the sombrero galaxy sombrero galaxy is perfectly pictured and located 28 million light years away from us the next one is called the r27 it's a pair of galaxies which form which form a rose like shape due to gravitation between them so did you know that Venus takes about 243 days for a rotation and 224 days for a revolution. Did you think I said it wrong? No, I said it right. A day on Venus is larger than a year. One of the most fascinating places ever seen or ever created is the International Space Station according to me. The International Space Station orbits about 408 kilometers above the Earth's ground. This International Space Station is present in the low Earth orbit. It is a multinational collaborative project involving five participating space agencies. Here, the, this is the only place where people have been known to settle other than on Earth. The next interesting topic is about the Andromeda Galaxy. Andromeda galaxy is the nearest galaxy to us. Did you know that the Andromeda galaxy and Milky Way galaxy which is ours is set to merge in about 5 to 6 billion years then the constellations which we see now will be totally different but then the earth won't be alive to see it. Did you know that any nothing is stationary in this world? Everyone knows that right because we are on a planet which is rotating on its axis and it is also revolving around this, its sun and the sun is also revolving in its own axis in, it, in the galaxy and the galaxy is also moving and spreading apart. So we are not stationary in this universe. So and the only thing that is stationary is that it always changes. By this I would like to end my talk. Thank you.